In this video, I'm going to be showing you an amazing card trick where the spectators are going to select 4 random playing cards and I'm going to turn them into the 4 aces. So let's get started. Here is the performance of the card trick. I have a shuffle deck of cards and all I'm going to do is just ask 4 different spectators to select 4 cards at random but they are not going to see it until and unless I tell them to. So let's just say the first spectator selects that one, the second one selects this one, the third one selects this one and the fourth one selects this one. So these all 4 cards are chosen at random from this shuffle deck of cards and all I can say about these 4 cards right now is that all these 4 cards are going to be the aces. Now once I make that step statement, the spectators are going to be shocked and they're going to look at their cards and see that these cards are actually not even close to the aces. So all I have to do is just take these cards and as I said that these cards are not the aces, they are going to be the aces. So make sure you remember these cards, the three of hearts, jack of clubs, the king of diamonds and the nine of hearts. So I'm going to take these other three cards, keep them right over here and take the nine of hearts and all I have to do is just take the nine of hearts and give it a flick and this card actually changes into the ace of spades and as I wave the ace of spades on these other three cards these cards also changes into the other three aces and that's how these four spectators they have selected cards and those cards became the aces that's why I said that these cards are going to be the aces and I did not say that these cards were the aces well that would have been impressive but this is the trick and here is how you're going to do it. For doing this card trick, I take out the four aces from this entire deck of cards and keep them on top of the deck from the very beginning. And then all I do is basically a shuffle where I'm going to maintain all the top cards on the top. That way all the four aces always stay on the top of the deck no matter what. Now at this point, I'm going to ask the spectator to select four random playing cards from this entire deck of cards. And I'm going to show these cards just like that. I'm not going to spread it entirely because they are going to see the four aces but they're not going to know anything because they're not going to know that you're actually turning the four cards into the four aces. So they, they have nothing to worry about. So they don't know what they're looking for. They're just going to see that all the cards are mixed up. But still, I'm just going to spread a little bit and show them that all the cards are mixed up and they're going to select four random playing cards while the cards are face down and they're not going to look at the cards until I ask them to. So when I tell them, they select four random playing cards and they keep it on the table face down, okay? And that's very important. Now, you can have four different spectators and make them select one random playing card each or you can have one spectator select four different playing cards, four random playing cards. Now, whatever the scene is, four cards needs to be selected. So let's just say that these cards are Four random playing cards that the spectators have selected and you also know that these cards are not the aces because the aces are still on the top of the deck right so at this point all i'm going to do is just tell the spectators that these four cards that they have selected they are going to be the aces now i need to be careful with the words that i use i say that they are going to be the aces i never say that they are the aces i said they are going to be the aces now even though I say those words, the spectators are going to think that these are already the aces and they start turning them over, which is okay because they need to see it for themselves or even if they don't turn them over, you're just going to go and ask them to turn those cards over. Go ahead and turn those cards over. And they're just going to turn these cards over and look at you in shock that these cards are not the aces. Well, you're going to tell that well, I never said that these are the aces. I said that these are going to be the aces. So that's the choice of words that you're going to make while you're actually doing this trick. Now, once you've already said that, once these cards are turned over, you already know that these four aces are still on the top and you're going to take a pinky break right under all these four aces, just over here, and you're going to do that secretly. And then all you have to do is just take these cards together and keep them on top of the deck now what happens is you not only have the four aces above the break you also have these four cards of the spectator that the spectators has selected above the break now at this point you have eight cards above the break and you need to 
hold the cards like this while you're counting so that the spectators does not see the thickness of the pack that you're lifting. They should just think that you have actually lifted all the four cards while you're turning them over. Now, all you're going to do is just take these four cards, sorry, the eight cards, you're going to lift them from the break and you're going to ask the spectator to remember these cards because as I said, that these cards are going to be the aces. So you need to remember carefully what these cards were and that has nothing to do with the trick. All you're just doing is basically giving them a little bit of distraction and nothing else. So you're going to grab all these eight cards from above the break and you're never going to turn your hand like this. You're just going to ask the spectator to remember all the cards that they have selected and then you go one by one naming the cards out. So you pull the 10 of hearts, say 10 of hearts and turn them over. Just like that, two of diamonds, turn it over. For the jack of hearts, while you're turning it over, you're also going to drop all these cards on back of the jack of diamonds, just like that. And you're going to do that immediately so that they don't see the thickness of the pack that you're actually holding with your right hand or your left hand, whichever hand you're comfortable with. So you take the jack of hearts, you say jack of hearts and the queen of clubs. Now you see what I did there? I immediately turned the jack of hearts and dropped the five cards that I had with my other hand on top of it naming the queen of clubs. So what that does is basically it puts the queen of clubs on top along with the four aces next to it. Now all I have to do is just take the queen of clubs, keep it right over here and then pretend to keep those playing cards that the spectator has selected one by one just like that. Okay. Now they're not going to know that I have actually kept the aces because they're going to think that these are the three cards that they have selected apart from this one. And now all I'm going to do is just take this card Take a break under the next card on top, which is the last ace. And all I have to do is just, I have to take these two cards together at once. And then I can either do a shake change where I need to just shake the cards and change it. Or I can do a flick change, whichever change that suits you. Or even if you want, you can actually go ahead and do the duck change, which I'm not really good at, so I don't do that. But whatever you do, just make sure that you do the change and uh, you do the shake change or flick change or whatever. You drop these two cards over here, take the ace and then wave the ace on top of these three cards, which will give them a magical gesture. And you can then show that all these three cards have also turned to aces. And that way you can make it look like that the spectator's cards have actually turned to aces. And then you can, you're going to say that, as I told, at the very beginning, the cards that you have selected are going to be the aces. So it was not necessary that they were the aces from the very beginning, which would have been very awesome, but they eventually turned out to be the aces, turned into the aces. So that is the trick and that is how you're going to do it. One more time, I'm just going to go and show this trick to you in full speed, what it looks like. You select four random playing cards. It really doesn't matter what cards these are. Okay, then you're going to take break above the, sorry, under the top four cards, which are the four aces. And then you're going to just place all these four cards over here, name these cards out loud while you're going to turn them over one by one after taking all the eight cards together. Six of clubs, two of spades, four of diamonds, and the king of clubs. Now, once you do that, you take the king of clubs, put it aside, take the three cards from below the king, and then take the king, give it a flick, change it into the ace. You know all the process so I'm not explaining because I did that right now. I take the ace of spades and just wave it over these three cards. And then I turn these three cards over. And as you can see, the other three aces have actually appeared right over here while the spectator selected cards are going to be on the top. So if you want, you can also turn these four aces in back to these four cards. All you have to do is just take four cards and do a flick change with eight cards and you can do that. So whatever that is, well, enjoy this trick, improvise, do whatever you feel like. And that's how you're going to do this trick. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you will like this trick. Thanks for watching. Peace.